we are on Nimbus. Our Red Zog spawned in the top right corner playing for Team Liquid. It is the little one. And his opponent spawned in the bottom right playing for C play. He just demolished Mr. Penguin. It is Borden. And hopefully I'm semi pronouncing his name correctly. And. Let's hope that Mr. Little One also watched that last game quite carefully and realized what he could improve on Penguin's play. Also, I'm not too sure if TLO actually likes that uh, Ling Muta play. I have not seen TLO play in quite some time. I think the last, last time I saw him was at Home Story Cup. But then again, I haven't watched too much uh, SC2 lately. So, shame on me. <laughs> Everyone is Leipzig Esports in their hearts. Good good for you. Okay, there's that uh, Forge Fast Exp No! He's changing his game plan. Okay. Going for the uh, gate first. Going immediately here for the scout. Let's see what Tilo is up, up to. Looks like he wants to go for hatch first. Maybe three hatch before pool, but I highly doubt it. He's gonna see that gateway and not go for the third hatch before the pool. That would be a little bit, a little bit too risky for him. And there we go. Sees that gateway and immediately throws down the pool. I think he was actually th uh, contemplating uh, going for the third base, but just seeing this, uh, nope. That's a big no go. And the Overlord makes its way over here, will scout out, okay, no gas is being taken, that means there has to be an expand. Nothing else coming up, of course, there needs to be an expand here somewhere. Let's see if TLO is a little bit on top of his game, a little bit better with the Overlords. Um, just the first gas being taken, and throwing three workers in there immediately. We already have a single drone working this working its way on these minerals. Gotta save up, man. Gotta save those minerals in the main. Those go if those goes to if this match actually goes to what, how many bases do we have over here? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bases. So 16 mineral field or 16 times something. Three, six, eight. It's eight. Pro pretty much for any base, I guess so. Let's not do math. But let's not. Let's check out what Borden is doing. He's going for double gas a little bit later on, but uh, has three workers in there. And TLO wisely retreating his overlord, but he doesn't have a second one available. So we'll have to play a little bit blind later on. At least this uh, right part or this part down here is not going to get scouted out by this overlord. Uh, unless Borden makes some grave mistakes, which I highly doubt he will. Seems to be a really solid player. And there's the first stock in production. And TLO got almost all of his workers out of the gas. Um, speed is halfway finished and he's finally going for the third base. Ooh, Stalker scouted out the Overlord. And we'll do a little bit of damage over here. And Mothership Core and Stalker might make their way over there. Ooh. Single link is lost, the second one might be able to get away. But looks like, will Borden go over there? He might, he might, but he's still looking for that overlord. And it's over here. Gonna catch a little more shots. Does he have a second stock available yet? Doesn't look like it. And the Ling is chasing the probe. He has a sentry behind this as well. So I think TLO might need to produce a couple more links and just as I say that, eight more links are in production, four more will be shown out here pretty soon. And he hasn't started on his creep, creep spread just yet. I know a lot of players don't uh, really stress creep spread that much in ZVP, but I don't know, I don't really get it. Like, I think it still helps out quite a bit. These links not doing all that much, I think TLO, TLO kind of thought, okay, I have a chance to catch the stalker while he's uh, out chasing my overlord. 
By the way, that Overlord was not picked off. He did make it way make its way over there. And will be quite safe over there. Coach Warren is in production behind this. Ooh, interesting. This is quite a different game plan compared to Penguin. He's going for the burrow upgrade, going for roaches, going for the hive tech, uh, not hive, um, layer straight away. So we'll, we'll see some roach upgrades in there as well. And right now, Borden not really having any of this. I mean, not, not so good, not doing all that good on scouting. And looks like he wants to gear up um, for a safe third expansion, going to more and more tech. This doesn't really look like he's gonna do any kind of attack shenanigans here pretty soon. And TLO um, is clearly aiming to, to a big, big roach attack here. Player is almost done. He's getting rid of the rocks in between his bases. And finally getting started with that creep spread. And, whoa, lots of sentries are coming in. And he scouted the roaches, so immediately Robo is thrown down. More roaches on production, but I think Borden will have to use um, recall if he actually wants to fight this. Which is not gonna happen here. Roaches? Come on, with the help of some lings, you might get on top of these sentries, which would be crazy if you can force out a couple or kill some of these sentries. And there is the burrow upgrade coming into play. Roach speed also being produced at the same time, and 10 roaches are in production. So we'll have to keep a close eye on the drone count of TLO, but he is bolstering his drone count, so he definitely has some kind of idea behind this. This is not, not a roach all-in or anything. There's the infestation pit going down, so he'll try to make something happen, maybe even um, do a little bit of damage on this, on this third, or even bypass it all together and go straight for the main, but this, it's kind of tough here. So I think he'll try to do make something happen here on this third base. But Borden, he has something to say about that. Roaches are moving in. He doesn't have too many links to actually close down and do the pincer move. But he's coming in from two sides. I don't think Borden spotted these roaches on the right side, so this could work out quite well. Oh geez, there's uh, the Enduring Locust upgrade coming in. And plus one missile attack. Oh, these roaches actually caught on the position. Some okayish force fields. He doesn't have a uh, remove upgrade just yet. And let's see if these roaches can actually bypass all of this. Yeah, looks like it. Rope's not quite getting there in time. And these roaches will do a lot of damage. It's gonna take a little bit of time before Borden actually gets there. Oop. Immortals could be stopped here before they actually get out in mass. If the Robo actually goes down, that would help out quite a bit. But another Robo already going down immediately. Let's see if these soldiers in the in the natural did a little bit of damage here. Ooh, 17 workers killed already. That's not bad. And these these soldiers are still working at it. Still going at it in the natural. That's 22 workers killed. And still rising. He might get a couple more. No, that's that's about it. 25 workers, <laughs> still that one roach being microed like a boss. <laughs> hey, I'm still alive, I'm still checking out what's happening. Still see all these gateways going back up. There's the plus one upgrade in research. Borden knows, okay, and this this is gonna be tough to defend. There's so many roaches coming in. Um, namely, 10 roaches, 11 roaches, and 7 swarm hosts already. And right now, I don't think that Borden has the army to actually stop um, stop a big swarm host attack. Swarm host will take a little bit of time to get over there, of course. Not the most mobile unit, and creep spread is not as far advanced as uh, TLO would like. But plus one attacks are coming out. He doesn't have the melee attack upgrades. But Missile Attack gonna help out with these Roaches and Swarm Host, as long as Borden doesn't get on top of the Swarm Host, TLO can just keep on rallying inwards and use these Roaches as kind of a mobile defense force. If that was a pile on there on the right side. And is he going straight for Hive Tech? No, it doesn't look like it. Borden actually being a little bit of a sneaky guy trying to get past TLO trying to get on top of that plateau, but it's not gonna work. TLO moving out of position beforehand. 
and those locusts already rallying in towards the third base. Maybe the roaches can go for a counterplay here again, and ooh, nothing in position! Wow, Borden making the same mistake twice, and the Robo Bay being immediately sniped out here, alongside the upgrades. Oh, I think this might have been the finishing blow here for Borden. Just a recall. He will lose one of these bases, and the Robo Bay going down, that's gonna hurt quite a bit as well. He needs Colossi out to deal with the Swarm Host. Ooh, and even trapping himself. That's gonna cost him quite a bit. But he's also attacking this uh, this natural. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how he actually... Oh, yeah, th there it is. There's the reason. Warp Prison. And TLO should retreat these guys. Swarm Host actually not too bad for defense if they're already in position, but... He also got rid of the third base, killed 40 workers, and is preparing a transition out of this. There's the hive tech, plus two missile attack upgrades, almost done. Um, he doesn't have a uh, hydrogen yet, but he could go for hydrogen. But oh, look, there's the GG. That's 1 0 for Liquid TLO. Nice, nice early game here. Um, completely different to the style that. Um, his previous Zerg partner, uh, Penguin, played, but still, um, really, really nice change of plans and perfect fit for the for the way that Borden was playing. I liked it quite a bit. <laughs> I'm stopping the physicists from learning f uh, from doing physics. That's, that's bad. That's bad right there. <laughs> All right. Um. So this is a best of three. Borden still has a chance to make a comeback happen, but uh, it looked quite solid for TLO. So let's see what Borden has got up his sleeve. But first, I'll uh, check out if we have any updates in the bracket. Prime Lot is playing versus Johnny Rico uh, in the other part, so we might get to see a Prime Lot or Johnny Rico face off against our winner here. Then down here we have Lambo King and Starnan in there. So I totally expect these two to make it make it further in this round. But we'll have to see. Don't wanna go crazy on the predictions. Not yet at least. I'll probably do this round and then the one after that. Maybe the one after that, depending on how fast we actually get going with these matches. But I, I actually, I have a date. Well, not a date date, but like um, meeting up with some friends, drinking, maybe going to a club later on. So that's kind of uh. Halting my plans for WCS qualifiers, if you know what I mean. But I'll, I'll be streaming Go4 on Sunday, so be sure to check that out. And if you like the casting, of course, leave a follow. But also follow these guys. Um, you can um, check out my Twitter feed to find Borden and TLO, but you know TLO, of course, so there's no need to advertise him. Next map is going to be King Seon Station. And we're about ready here. And here we have him. Our blue Protoss spot in the top left. Playing for C play, it is Borden. His opponent spawned in the bottom right as the Red Zerg. Playing for Team Liquid, it is the little one. And definitely didn't look the very little in that last game. Good Swarm House play. Um, I would have liked to see it go a little bit longer just to see what his transition would have been out of the Swarm House, or if he would have just stick, stick with the Swarm House. I don't take TLO for a player that really tries tries to abuse them, but right now, uh, like we talked beforehand, he was like, ah. uh, like I asked him how he's feeling tonight and if if he's prepared for this, and he said, well, yeah, but Zerk is in a tough spot right now. So, well, we checked out the players that were qualified for WCS challengers so far, and only a single Zerk made it, uh, Starbuck, I think. So yeah. Um, there's that. So you know what kind of a spot Zerk is in. Also a lot of Terrans made it, which is kind of surprising to me. I mean, 
last time I was big in StarCraft casting, Terrence didn't go very far in Europe. No sir. And Borden is going for a signature style again, going for the far Forge Fast Expand. And TLO this time, of course, King Seong Station, a little bit of a weirder map. Um, you want to play a little bit safer, and that's exactly what he's doing. Going for the spawning pool. So, gets the spawning pool first, instead of hatch first like he did last game. Ooh, look at that! TLO! Man, you watched those last games. You watched Borden versus Penguin. You knew he likes to... Oh, jeez! I've not seen this in ages. This is so annoying. This is so incredibly annoying. Okay, uh, did TLO spot it yet? No, now he sees it. Oh, this is so incredibly annoying, but he did have the pull out pretty soon, so I think he can stop this. Still going for the spine. Oh jeez, I faced this on ladder so many times when back when I played a lot of matches, <laughs> which is like two years ago, but I hated this strategy. But he has an early pull, he's producing more links, he's going for the spine, I think he can stop this. Yep, that's the first of these pylons going down. Next ones are finishing up though, and the photon cannons are, cannons are finishing up pretty soon as well. So let's see, let's see, this, this is not totally lost yet. He has the spine, he will need to play some uh, creep tumor if he wants to advance on this. And he might need to cancel that hatch. No, he lets it finish. Yeah, well, he needs a creep down there. It's true. And he wants to have the additional larvae. And Queen gets in range. He doesn't have the high ground vision anymore. So Stilo should try to get rid of that probe if, if he can. Like, even if it's gonna cost him quite a bit. Borden doesn't have a second probe available, so that would be quite helpful to stop this onslaught on the high ground. Can he get on top of that probe? Come on, get it going. Get it going. One, one of the queens is almost down. You really want to save that. Oh, nice job. Inching his way forward, but the hatch has been taken out. But now, with these little broodlings coming out, Zerglings also get into the fray and get on top of first of one of the... Uh, Photon cannons, get rid of, get, will he get rid of the second one as well? Yes he can, and this is cleared up. Is there a follow-up to this for Borden? Oh, the Nexus is coming in. And almost halfway done. He does have Photon Cannon almost uh, halfway finished. But still, a run by could be quite detrimental to him right now. Does he have enough minerals saved up to actually stop a run by? Placing down a gateway or something soon? Uh, it's gonna be tough, but TLO, he turned around, he's gonna try the back door. So, I doubt that's gonna do all that much. This will go on a little bit longer. But that's a lot of minerals lost for Borden. That's uh, 400 resources right here, plus the resources he lost beforehand. 22 links, that's not shabby either. So this is gonna rise a little bit more. Uh, 1400 versus 900. It's okay. Um, I'd reckon, I mean, since he did produce probes while all of this was going on. Let's see how these links will do. I think Borden will actually notice that, yeah, I think he knows about this. Um, usually you would check, okay, those de that debris is actually going towards the yellow. And uh, we'll have to react to that and maybe um, close this off with another gateway down here. And... Then the photon cannon will pretty much range over here. Maybe get a second photon cannon over here, but also just two uh, two zealots or a zealot in the sentry would help out quite a bit as well. Warpgate research has started, and TLO is going for the third base. So the match has slowed down quite a bit, and we will go to a little bit of a longer series here. There we go, Borden finally closing off that right side, but right now it doesn't look like he's noticed that something's going awry here with the debris. He needs to realize this. Otherwise, uh, six links, that's a little bit dangerous if they get to the main. Mothership core just finished, so he won't have energy for an overcharge just yet, and the links get in there. Nothing's stopping them right now. He's gonna lose one link, two link. Well, with the Mothership core... Those links are not going to do that much damage. 
let's see, he scouts everything out, he's gonna check the gases, check how much gas has been mined, and this is gonna help out quite a bit, but uh, Lynx will, won't do too much damage. Not with the Mothership Core, not with the Stalker in position. So if Kyolo can actually save a couple of these, would be nice. Just to place them close to the front, just to see, okay, when is Border moving out, what, what is he trying to do? And he will. Gets away three of these Lynx, and there's the Roach Warden and Evil Chamber in production. Plus one is almost finished for Borden, so he could go for a little bit of a foregate play here. Three foregates are in production. It's not timed out quite as nicely, but he could play couldn't place these down before um, before the Zerklings were actually out of his base. So some good decision making there. And he also has a Twilight Council behind this, so I reckon it might not be a foregate attack, and he's also producing probes behind this, so maybe like a like a tiny bit of of a foregate just to Take out some pressure, force a couple links. He does have some proxy pounds available to make this happen. And there we go. Uh, whopping in a single zealot. And there's Blink. And a Dark Shrine. Okay. Maybe asking a little bit too much out of two bases, but we'll see. He does have the plus one available already. And a couple of, couple of stalkers, a uh, couple of zealots and a single stalker making its way. Mothership Core is with them as well. And TLO just has a single spine over here. He does have a couple of roaches available and eight more in production. And with the with the queens, I think he can clear this up. Some solid micro, saving those roaches. There's the time warp. Ooh, actually gets rid of the Mothership Core. That is huge. Now Borden can't really attack here. I mean, not against so many roaches, not against that spine. Good cancel. TLO keeping his creep tumors alive. And yeah, I like this creep spread. TLO really working on his creep spread. I'm, I mean, he did have the time for it this time. Uh, he started out quite early as well, since he wanted to move the spine crawl up uh, earlier when we had the Voting Cannon rush. And there's Borden trying to go for a third base. The problem is, since TLO cleared up uh, this debris, he is now, um, he can now be attacked from two sides, and this is a wide ramp, a little bit of a narrow ramp, so what he really wants to do is just try to close this area off, and that's pretty wide as well. So TLO has a little bit of a timing to make something happen here with a lot of roaches, he has the plus one available, he's going for the barrel upgrade qu once again, and he has spines at home uh, just for defense. So this third is uh, quite well defended, I think he still has a spine over here, nope he doesn't, but I mean with the creep spread he has going for him, he notice, he will notice immediately once Border move, makes a move, and the roaches are closing in, getting right on top of these sentries. Uh, I think Borden doesn't have enough for an overcharge just yet, 15 more energy will be needed. And this Nexus could be sniped here by TLO, and he's getting right on top of these Stalkers. They have the plus 2 upgrades, so they are quite deadly, and Blink also qu helping out quite a bit here for Borden. But this is still a mighty army for TLO. If he would have links, that would help out quite a bit. The Mothership Core actually starting to hurt now, especially with the overcharge. So TLO will have to get get out and save a couple of these roaches. So overall not really that useful, but he did get rid of a couple of sentries, so that does help out quite a bit. And yeah, this is just gonna be some play by Borden to lure these roaches into the overcharge range. But no, TLO not gonna fall for it, gets out immediately and is gonna try that uh, regular access to the natural over here. And maybe, maybe he tr tries to get on top of the forge. Uh, let's see. More links are in production behind this. He's also going for the plus two missile attack upgrade. And ooh, what did I see here? Pneumatized carapace. Interesting. There's the infestation pit. And immortal immediately being taken out. Oh, nice splitting here. Only sends a couple of roaches up there. And gets rid of that pylon. Good job stopping the plus three upgrade that was already in production. Let's see if he can make something happen with these roaches over here. Just a single stalker. And Borden, he's, he's shambling. He still has a decently sized um, stalker army over here. But not too mobile, even though he does have Blink available. So he will lose a couple of workers. But losing the timing on the plus three attack, that was a big thing here. That was pretty huge for TLO, since he has to 
catch up. He has to get his plus two out and he needs to buy a little bit of time for his swarm host. Two are on the way alongside the Enduring Locust upgrade. But he really wants to go for a fifth base. Fourth base is already established and he's... Wow, good job harassing this fourth base. We'll get rid of that pretty soon. And also Borden losing a lot of workers in the third and we'll lose his natural as well. Wow, he's just stretched so thin right here. Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, at the end he just said, "Oh, well, I think I need to um I need to train a little bit harder with my PVZ." So also German player alongside our dear Dario.